My name is Terry, and welcome to my channel. Today, in this video, I want to show you two things. The first thing I want to show you are these gorgeous oil and vinegar currants that I got from Last Elm. I also ordered letterings from a seller on Etsy, and I just love how they turned out. The second thing I want to share with you is my pantry. I feel like with the pandemic, we're home all the time. We eat three meals a day, snacks all in between. So we have so much food in our pantry, so I had to reorganize it. So I wanted to show you how I reorganized my pantry. All right, so let me show you. Okay, so here's my pantry. And let's go take a tour. We're gonna start from the very top. I had a lot of space on this top shelf, as you can see. So rather than wasting all that height space, I decided to put these metal shelvings. And they fit pretty nicely. So now I can store up here a kettle that I don't use. And these chafing dishes, I don't use that often either, just for holidays or when we have company. Same with this, uh, it's a tri crock pot, which I love. You can put different dips in it. I love using that. And then on this side here, we have a ginormous bowl that I used to make salads for big events. On the next shelf are just holiday things, holiday paper plates, napkins. And then on the next shelf are kind of overstocks. There, I guess you can also see some more some more uh, paper plates down there, but there are overstocks of coffee pods and napkins, straws, and more holiday things. So in this first style, I have all my canned goods. See in the back, I have extra sauce. I think we're all kind of hoarding a little bit right now with the, with the pandemic, but these are all my specialty noodles. Got them from online in different Italian stores. On this side I have one set of cans. These are mostly like my tomato sauces and tomato paste. And then on the other side, I have my beans and my chilies. And then that makes up that first row. Coming down to the next row, I moved these a little bit so I have more access and more visual of my grains and rice. So I have beans on this side. I've got some coffee beans up there too. In the middle I have my rice, my quinoa, and then on the left hand side I have all my, kind of like my baking goods, my bisquick, flour, sugar. This next row is kind of a hodgepodge of different things. I've got my nuts and seeds for my salads, and then behind that I have these wisps, if you've ever had them, they're so awesome, you can get them at Costco, but they're cheddar cheese and parmesan wisps, they're, they're so great to put on your salads. And then above that, I have this little Lazy Susan and it has olives and pizza sauce. That they're just F F overstock. And then back here, I have more extra pickles my soup stocks. Just other canned goods. And these are more stuff for my salad fixings, croutons, and sesame seeds. And on this side I have my roasted peppers. And then I've got other sauces on this side. And underneath I have a little bin with some Japanese furikake and some chazuki that you put on your rice. And that's the shelf. And now we're gonna move down to the next aisle and it's kind of a mixture. We have our salty snacks and then we have our sweet snacks. Chocolate covered raisins, chocolate covered almonds, candy. Yes, I have a sweet tooth. 
And I also like to eat salty stuff too, so there's some chips and popcorn and all that good stuff. On this corner, I do have a jar. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna use that with, but in the back are all my Japanese noodles, kind of like my Japanese basket. So on this side, I have my grass-fed collagen. I have immune booster shots, and then these are um, these are zip fizzes. I think they're like energy things, and I don't really use that. And these are actually really great. They're like hydrating um, powders to boost your water, so you're getting more hydration. And I have some extra water bottles here. So in this bottom row, I have water bottles by lemon water and then my onions and potatoes down here I have some extra water bottles and vinegar down there back in the back are all my extra stock extra pastas and croutons and that sort of thing I think I have an electric fryer right here and then I also have some extra storage containers I don't know if you can even see all right, so now let's go on this side of my pantry and this I have my bins of storage bags and then here's where I keep extra paper towels and napkins and then these are another set of overstocks but these I need to get a hold of more often these are our overstock on our snacks and cookies and stuff that I refill um, on a regular basis all right now we're gonna move down to our cereal aisle so these are all our cereals and then here I have breakfast bars, and grit and oatmeal, and then just, just little snack bars that we can grab a hold of whenever we want them. And then more cereal. And then I also have some banana chips and apple chips. I think my apple chips are empty, but. Now we're gonna move on to the next aisle. And these are our pasta aisle. These are more for my soups. That's the Tutelini's and my Orzo. And then these are my angel hair and my linguine. There you have it. That is all. That's all my pasta. This next aisle is a bunch of mismatch things that I use. Um, and these bins, I'll tell you what, are so awesome. They're they're great to kind of organize your things and put them in little sections, but. These are my salad dressing powders, frying batters. I've got uh, red wine vinegar, which we go through. And there's couscous and, and rice pilafs that I use. And back in the back there, I don't know if you can see, but it's stock pile of oil. Now we're gonna move on to the next aisle. And these are just big bins of popcorn and pretzels that we tend to eat a lot of are great but I nailed them in the back just because they were kind of wobbly but I keep my napkins on one side and then paper plates on the other side and these are our plastic cups and extra utensils that we can just kind of grab plastic flatware these are all our koozies and then these are our, our bento boxes our lunch boxes That's it for this side of the pantry. last section guys I've got my KitchenAid I've got two rice cookers this, this is my new one that I'm kind of working on but I've had this one for a hundred years in fact you can't even buy this company anymore but I've had that probably for 25 years if you can see my wallpaper now I love the lemon wallpaper it's it's a peel and stick those are really great so these are my crock pots I use them pretty often and then the next row are my pastas.
in my rice. Okay, in the next row we have soups and nut butters, salsa. And then I also have our ramens that we eat and our nori that we eat. And again, I have these baskets that I use to kind of utilize that space in between. Get more out of my shelf. In our next aisle, these are more snacks. These are little bags of snacks, and I buy these mostly because the big bags, I feel like they're always going bad, so I'd rather just buy the small bags. And then on this side we have cookies and some Annie's graham crackers, cheddar bunnies. And these, I swear, my husband and my son love these. I get these from Costco, they're awesome. And I just, so they can just kind of grab it. Out. And then these are just my crackers. I always have to have goldfish crackers. I feel like goldfish crackers are just something you need. And these I use for my charcuterie boards. And that's that aisle. This last aisle, I have trash bags, these are just store bags that I just keep and reuse. And then this last bin is my cleaning products. They're just dishwashing soap and just, just extras. And these bins I got from Target. Okay guys, this is my pantry tour. I know this is probably more than we normally keep in our pantry, but I think with the pandemic and with us always being home, we kind of stockpile a little bit more than we normally do, but. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see future videos. Until next time, bye bye.